total immigration reform. When that failed, and I'm not going to talk about any disagreement I may have had with an attorney. That's one of the reasons he's the vice president. I'm the vice president of the United States, and any disagreement I have with the president is between the president and me. That's the only way it can work. But here's the deal. What's happened is that he came along and he had stopped family separations. ICE did not operate on your doorstep and worry about when your kid goes to school, whether or not you're going to have somebody here when they come and pick them up to determine whether or not you should be, you should be deported, separating families. We, in fact, set the DACA program and took millions of kids, not only, by the way, not only Hispanic children, Hispanic dreamers, but Asian Pacific dreamers. There's a significant portion of them as well who are dreamers. Thirdly, the separation of families and putting kids in cages is brutal. It is absolutely, absolutely inhumane. And that is completely stop. We also provided for it. What the president asked me to do was to do one other thing. And that was the significant immigration coming from the, the Central America and the Northern Triangle. Why do people come? Do people come because they say, boy, wouldn't it be fun to leave everything I know? No, they come because they are being abused, because they don't have jobs, because they, in fact, are, are criminal. Uh, the excuse me, uh, cartels are 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 dealing with them and abusing them. So, what I did was I came up with I came up with a program that I got Republicans to vote for for seven hundred and fifty million dollars. The condition which we would in those three countries where most immigration is coming from. We would, if they reformed their systems in terms of schools, in terms of prisons, in terms of police corruption, and all those issues, everything from street lighting in, 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 in areas to access to electricity, all those issues, and making people pay their fair share in taxes, meaning the very wealthy pay nothing, then we would, in fact, help fund the changes in their country. Guess what? Immigration slowed up precipitously. You notice. There is a net migration to Mexico now. Can you choose him? Okay, good. I'm going to translate for her, but I want to know that in 2008, I was a volunteer for Obama because I had hope, and I believe in the promises that he made to the immigrant community. The fact is that over those eight years, there were three million people that were deported and separated from their families. Yeah. We had this classification of families. You should go to Trump. Families you should go to Trump. And be, no, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. But I want to make sure that immigrant families and people like Sylvia are not afraid. And you have the power as a candidate to actually commit to stop all deportations from day one for executive action. And we want to hear you say that. I will not stop all deportations if you have a, if you commit a crime that's a felony. Not one more deportation. 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 That's all. That's all. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. No matter what happens, if somebody commits murder, they shouldn't be deported. But I'm asking you a question. Someone commits murder. Look, you saw I know, I said this, I campaigned for one because I had hope and I believe in the Okay. Look. And we want to hear a commitment to stopping all the all day one for the second action. There will be no family separations under my, under my, as President as, 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 as of the United States. That's a lot of money to go. That's a lie you said? Not one more deportation. Not one more deportation. Not one more deportation. Vamos, Ignacio, Ignacio. It is stopped. It's stopped. It's stopped. It did not work. It's stopped.
Mr. Vice President, I just want to say how much respect I have for you for your record of service. But my question today is.